I've been crying all day because I got sat on a plane next to a couple and the whole time the guy had his hand on like his girlfriend's leg, you know, and it was just kind of like that the whole time. And um, I just, I can't, like, I've been single my whole life, I'm 25, and I've never gotten to experience that. I've never gotten like close to that. And it's just too much. Like, it's too much. I can't do it anymore. There are some people out there who they don't, they're not interested in a relationship and they want to be by themselves. But like, that's not me. And that's never been me. I have always wanted to be in a relationship, even though I've never been in one. Um, and even though I'm like, I'm comfortable by myself and I can do things alone. But like, at a certain point, it gets like really sad doing things alone. Like... I've traveled alone to so many places because like if I don't go by myself, I'm not gonna go. If I don't do things by myself, it's not gonna happen. But at the same time, like it's so much fun to be able to like share that with someone else. And like everyone I know is in a relationship right now. And like the majority of them have been in relationships for like a long time. Like this is established. And I just like, I feel like I've always been alone and I don't want to be, and I don't understand why this is happening to me. Um, and I just, I don't know, I like can't take it anymore. Um, and clearly this didn't work because I'm still crying and I just wasted like two minutes of your time and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope you're having a better weekend than I am. <laughs> so. This is what happens when women sign up to what society tells them. You need to be independent, make your own money, you don't need a man. This is the sad reality. This is the sad reality for women who reach a certain age. They feel empty inside. Loads of money and fancy clothes ain't gonna bring you no fulfillment. You have to take responsibility for your decisions right now. Because when you were young, you thought your choices don't have any consequences. Uh, I'm gonna make my husband work <laughs> tonight to have a lot of massage and uh, good recovery. <laughs> husband is also my fitness coach and does everything for me so I'm glad we clarified that I, I'm sure they knew what what you meant anyway congratulations <laughs> if God didn't want women to be cooking he wouldn't have put milk and eggs in their body if God didn't want men to make sweet oh my god bro oh hell no man what the fuck man that's what I'm saying male or female excuse me I've got two questions for you. Do you mind? Oh, right. Are you a female officer or a male officer? You're a female, are you sure? So if I was mistaken and called you a male officer, would you be offended? No. Fantastic. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. I'm going to go forward with this nigga right here. Or when she's not feeling good, or when she hates you, she gonna post your sex tape. Or when she's feeling like we gotta talk about that. She, that's what I'm telling you. She got so I got many like good for this one though. Like I, I she's so impulsive. Saying. She's unpredictable. Hey, so it's but, not like hey, have you ever found have you ever found her cheating on you? Plenty of times. Yeah. I, I say this, and Gina, I want you to even understand as well. My glasses keep coming off because I'm feeling this conversation because I'm like, you have to think about it. Like when a man cheats. Like, we don't really, like, and I'm looking at it from a man. We don't yeah. cheat with our hearts. One and done. Like, I know it might seem like it, but we really don't. Yeah. Nigga, we, nigga actually go get his rocks off, come home and treat you better. Well, yeah. I've always I felt like lie. when women... They're leaving here to go to Latin America to be with a Latin woman. And it's almost like implying to women here that you're not doing your job good enough. So I'm going to go to South America to find it there. And I think that's where it really starts pissing women off. Because as a woman or anyone, like, you only know what you know and you only know what you're doing, you know? So, like, things like this raise controversy because you see a man, whatever, going to South America and it's like, why is he doing that or whatever? People do things for a reason. And his reason is, I don't feel like I'm getting what I need here. Now, women will argue that it's because no you can't handle a woman here or you can't handle being with 
what is it like a, a boss lady or whatever people are calling themselves nowadays you can't handle that you should learn how to be more um be more of a man to be with with a, a woman like myself right that's what women will say but at the end of the day men are leaving because they feel lack they feel like they're not getting that and i think that's where women it's like it's the, this is the controversy is starting to piss them off because they're just like why are you doing that you know like what like what's what is what is even the purpose of that um and then, then it kind of starts bringing it to like what not latin women have that american women don't have but what are they doing that we're not doing you know and then that whole thing is like well latin women are have no problem catering to you or you know being really sweet to you or saying mi amor que necesitas like things like that like being really sweet to you um whereas here that's kind of been dying out it's been fizzling out right and then that also starts teaching women that they it's not to, to say that you need to do more but you need to be connected more to who you are and stop trying to reach that bar that society is now telling you to reach the think like a woman like be more like a man the podcasts that are out like it, it's teaching you how to play this game but if you're te you're learning how to play this game it's fine but it's a game like you're not gonna learn how to be in a real relationship with man and woman because that's supposed to be a balance you're gonna learn how to be equal to a man passport bros they're getting what they rightfully deserve you love to see and for the women that say oh you can't handle a boss babe like me you're right what is there to handle i don't want to handle headaches nagging arguments all of the time emotional baggage no you're right we can't handle that bull crap so the passport is in our hand and good feminine loving women are waiting for us. I'd rather be with someone like that. And I think that every man would agree. Girls not out of the club. <laughs> are you oh kidding me? God, here we go. Emma, go. you've got the toxic flag going? Let's because swing it to Emma I'm first. going to the most worst scenario. Yeah. Let me tell you this. When I go out with my girls and a guy tries to hit on me, I do this move. <sighs> It's called the X. Now, I and will they expand on that yeah. because well, why, I do the same thing. why can't yeah. girls' nights be movies in, uh, wine nights in? But why does it why only it have to It can be, be a that? dinner out and then some cocktails. Why does it have to be in a club where majority of your it friends doesn't. may be single? Right. It doesn't. Again, it's attention. I, it's I work in the bar industry. I see girls' nights out versus men's nights out. Yeah, but I'll tell you And I will say yeah, the girls' nights out, those groups are always hopping dude to dude to get their drinks paid for. And I don't consider us in my decision that I Like, made. we can buy our because own we are drinks. Because we, we are, are an exception to, to the rule. Yeah, right. I agree with that. So basically, to break this down, if four dudes go out to the club together, they're going to be standing in the corner, bored, not talking to anybody, nine times out of ten. The club. Girls, though, go to the club for validation. Okay, they go to the club to get dressed up, take the pictures. They go there because they know guys are going to be orbiting around them. Mm -hmm. The chances of you getting your drink spiked, one of the girls getting too drunk, being left alone, and some dude walking off with her. Mm -hmm. It is a dangerous situation in these clubs, but especially safe, in these random There cities. are safe ways you can do it. You have your dude pick you up from the club. You have a chaperone. How like many people actually are... do that, though? Are you, serious? are you guys seeing this? This is how my parents treat me. Don't! Stop! Wait for the truth bomb. Wait for it. I actually felt bad for her for a second, but wait for it. Do not lay hands on me! You haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, see, now I'm being threatened, you guys. This is my parents right now. All these goddamn kids afraid to get the ass whooped. Motherfucker, I caught a hand, a belt, a boot, a flip-flop, a wooden spoon, another shoe. <laughs> you fucking name it, bro. Like, <laughs> don't lay a hand on me. Let's pretend like we're not on TikTok, and let's talk like normal people. Well, I gotta do this for my own protection all the time. I'm sick of living like this. Well, go away! Go away! Go away! I'm telling everybody in the world, go away! You have all the answers, but you don't have all the answers, do you? Do you? You don't have an answer in the world! Do you have the $600 for the car payment? No, because you what? Decided to go to Route 21, what? I mean, I've been making the car payments. I've been calculating it. One I... payment does not make car payments. Oh, my God. Are you guys really hearing this? Okay. How much do you have? And there's a truth bomb. <laughs> 
went clothes shopping instead of making the car payment. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's what your dumb ass gets. <laughs> I'll be tired of your ass. I'll be tired of your shit, too. <laughs> this generations of entitled little kids, bro. Let's have some fun in the comments. What would happen to you if you talk to your parents like this? I'll go first. I would be homeless for the next 30 days, bro. Well, now I live by myself, but if I was still living with my parents and I talked to them this way, on top of being homeless for 30 days, I would receive a beating I never experienced in my life. Simple as that. My father don't play around when it comes to respect. You gotta respect the household. The women got paid out from a pool of $30 million from the Women's World Cup. The men would draw from a pool of $400 million, okay? $400 million, $30 million. Why is that? It's because the Men's World Cup generates $6 billion in revenue. Mm -hmm. The Women's World Cup generates $131 million in revenue. If you want to talk about pay disparity, the Women's World Cup players get paid out 20% of the total revenue. The men get paid out 7%. As a percentage point, they are getting much more. The problem is for anybody desiring equal pay. And by the way, I think equal pay is a ridiculous concept in and of itself. If the women generate more revenue, they should get paid more than the men. Don't strive for getting the same. Strive for getting what you're worth. And if you're worth more, then get more. And now what are you doing after we broke up? What you wanted to do? Living the dream. They weren't jokes. They weren't jokes. <laughs> they and weren't you're jokes. living the same thing. You're living the dream too. You said you wanted to have a baby. I said I wanted to have group. Both doing what we wanted. <laughs> What's the problem? All right, perfect. But the I'm point is, you are a gaslighter, and I just proved my point. Oh, and with the, the music. music. That was yeah. <laughs>